You know me as an explorer who flew around the world non-stop in a balloon and without fuel in a solar airplane. But you know, I'm also an explorer of efficient solutions for sustainability. You think and fight against the unpredictability of life. If we want to protect the environment, we need to enter into a fully circular economy. And this calls for creativity. That's why I'm meeting Denis Jahic from the company Aquafil at their plant in Slovenia's capital, Ljubljana. Aquafil is a pioneer of the circular economy. We are producing Econil regenerated nylon. It's 100% recycled from the plastic waste. We are using different types of the waste coming from all over the world. Types of the waste are fish nets coming from the aquaculture and the fish farming, the plastic nylon scraps, the carpets, and the ghost nets being collected by the healthy seas. They are taking the ghost nets from the oceans, cleaning the oceans, and bringing us the nets, which are good ways for our Econil regenerating system. So now I'm really curious to see the production. How you go from this to the new pure product? Let's see it. After learning the theory about Econil, I'm curious to see the recycling and production process of this material made from waste. A complex but rewarding effort, because I was told that for every ton of material produced, it saves seven barrels of crude oil and 6.5 tons of carbon emissions. After the tour of the factory, Denis Jahic comes with me on the way to my next meeting. The quality of the Econil regenerated nylon is identical as fresh virgin nylon 6, but it reduces the CO2 emissions up to 90%. The ideal would be to be entirely circular, but if you look at all the nylon 6 that is produced in the world today, which percentage is already recycled into Econil? It's a very small part, you think? It is a very small part, yes. So now the goal is really to scale it up? Yes, but you have to consider that we are the only company in the world producing from the nylon waste final products which are identical quality as Virgin Nylon 6. So when we speak about the environment, you basically need more competitors doing the same thing. Yes, the competition is always good for developing the process. So what can be made out of Econil? It's good for the fashion, for the apparel, for the carpets, for the automotive industry, as floor mats in this uh, Ionic 5. So basically we're driving with Econil under our feet. Yes. Econil Recycled Nylon offers creative thinkers a wide range of possibilities. Hello, Yasin. Hello, Bertrand. When you look before, um, sustainability was just like an add-on. And right now, we put it into the center of our research and development. And it is uh, defining the way we are working more and more. And you plan to increase the quantity of recyclable materials into your designs for the future? Definitely. So we are working on different materials, um, different manufacturing strategies. And what we do is, with each car release, we increase the amount of recyclable and sustainable contents in our cars. Recycled materials is only for the interior or also for the exterior, for the shells or for big pieces. The exterior itself, uh, there is already a standard recycling process ongoing because uh, aluminum shells, steel shells can be easily recycled, and they are, in fact. Uh, what we do is we focus on in the interior and thanks to recyclable plastics, like Econil, for instance, we bring recyclable content to the interior. And we now plan to go deeper to the clothing underneath, to the construction parts as well, and bring sustainable content here. And as a designer, you must dream of the perfect car. How does it look like? <laughs> we dream of a car which fulfills not only the requirements for being safe, but also 
increase the well-being aspect and the balance for the people. And of course, why we do this, we want to have a car which is recyclable and uh, therefore circularity is the key. The challenges for reaching full sustainability are huge. This is why we need pioneers who give an impulse for different ways of thinking and doing. And now we have to do the next steps.